hi there. I'm Anthony from Amped Airsoft, and I see that you are interested in learning about the CQB Russian Valve. Welcome to Pleb to Pro. I'm gonna teach you stuff. Basically today, we're gonna take my M9 and make it not on green gas anymore. We have them in different varieties. We have them in KWA, we, and TM. So make sure you get the one that matches your pistol. So here we go. Get ready, we're going to go on a journey. All right guys, so now that we got all the formalities out of the way, let's give you a little bit of an explanation about the CQB Russian Valve. So CQB Russian Valve is a $15 CNC machined aluminum HPA nozzle for your gas blowback mags. It's really super cool. They come in three varieties. You have your KSC KWA set, your WeTech set, and your TM set because they all have different threads. Why not? <laughs> so there are three separate ones. Make sure you get the ones that go to your gun. Very important, very important. The big thing about this is that since it's made of aluminum, it's nice and strong and it also in most models of guns requires no drilling or modification of your magazines. Luckily I chose one that needs one so that you can see that some mags do need modification. This is my personal KWA uh, M9 PTP that I've had for about five years now. And we're gonna go ahead and HPA tap one of my mags. I'm gonna point out some of the things about it that you're gonna need to be aware of when you go to do it. Big thing also, these valves are compatible with standard fittings, which means that, oh, yay, look, it, it works with our lines. Yay. So, just so you guys know, you can use your amped airsoft, amp lines, and SLP and Firebase built regulators. You can get those at www.ampedairsoft.com. So, some basic things to take into account when you're using these valves that make these super awesome. You start using these valves if you have a gun that shoots too hot. Since you're using a regulated air system like an HPA system, you can regulate it. So you can take a gun like an LM4 that might shoot hot when it's hot outside, it might shoot a little over 400, bring it down by running at a lower PSI, and make it field legal or even CQB legal without having to change the nozzle in the bolt. So there's that, that's one advantage. You are going to have to lubricate your your systems because you're not going to be using green gas anymore. And since you're not using green gas, green gas has silicone impregnated into the gas. It helps lubricate your gas blowbacks. You're going to have to do that manually now because you're using HPA. So keep that in mind. Kind of important, just so you know. All right. So we purposely chose my M9 because this is a little bit more of a difficult install and it has some special steps to it. So we're going to go ahead and just roll with it. We'll see what kind of magic we can have happen here. All right, so what you're gonna need for your tools, you're gonna need some form of wrench to tighten the fitting on. Don't hulk the fitting on, trust me, you don't wanna ruin it. But you're gonna need some type of wrench. You're gonna need a, typically, a flathead screwdriver to get the fill valve from your mag out. And for this mag in particular, since it's a KWA mag, it has a hex key set of screws on the bottom of the mag right in there in that region that you're gonna need to take out as well so I also have this which is why I always use and I suggest that all of you would-be techs out there go out and get yourself an interchangeable bit system screwdriver so that you can have one screwdriver to do all of your stuff all right so first step we're gonna take the base plate off these base plates are screwed in with screws that's these guys right here I've already pulled them out because you know what time the KWA base plate also has a hole right here that you're going to need to push so you can slide the base plate off. And then there you go. Base plate is off. And there you go. Here's the thing with the KWA M9 that you're gonna have to be aware of. This hole is not big enough to thread the CQB Russian valve into, so you're gonna have to drill this at your own peril, you're going to have to widen this hole. If you ruin it, you're gonna have to get a new base plate for your magazine, so don't ruin it. But this isn't true for every type of magazine. 
So some of them you'll have to modify, some of them you won't. Majority of magazines you won't, but like I said, we picked a hard one on purpose because, you know, YOLO. So we're gonna set that dude off to the side. Also, just so you guys know, a lot of the guns, you don't have to even put the base plate back on, but the M9 needs the base plate on because that's what holds the spring in. Without the base plate, this dude is just, you know, bye, whatever. <laughs> so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove our fill valve from our magazine. That's this guy right here. You're gonna need a flathead type bit or screwdriver. The best thing about this CQB Russian setup is that it's completely reversible. If you don't lose your parts from your original build, you can go back and put these mags back to green gas and you'll be good to go. Something to take into account. Now, when installing the CQB Russian valve, important, you're gonna need to put some Teflon tape on the threads of the valve. Otherwise, air could leak out through the threads on the fitting. Very important, make sure you do that. Also, pro tip, when you're putting this in here, you're gonna turn it counterclockwise first till you feel it click so you don't cross thread it, and then you're gonna tighten it on. Basically, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hand tighten this on, and then when we can't hand tighten it anymore, we're going to turn it a quarter turn to make sure we don't snap the threads or do anything crazy like that. And use our wrench. And that's about it. There you go. So now we have an HPA tapped pistol mag. Like I said though, this is gonna be for show only because I didn't modify the base plate. So this is just gonna be for show. So. We got my M9 right here. We got our HPA Air right here. All right, it's already on fire. It works! I didn't mess it up. The big thing about these CQB Russian valves is that since you're taking green gas out of the equation, you don't have green gas cool down, so you don't have to worry about drops in performance. This will always run with HPA at exactly the pressure that you set it to. Don't worry about it, it just will run. It also won't slow down your, your trigger pull. It'll basically work as fast as you pull the trigger. To uncouple it, just, just like with a, an AGL on a Polar Star or your macro line or anything like that, you just pull it, that's it. Pull your mag out. My only big complaint about this system is that what you're looking at is you're gonna have to add an extra step to reloading your mags because you're gonna have to put a new mag in, then connect it, and then you'll be good to go again. So it adds another step to the reload process. I'm sure you can get good at it and get fast, but what this will give you is better performance across the board. So. There you go. So this has been a quick pleb to pro on the CQB Russian fitting. Remember, we have them in KWA, we and TM variants. Make sure you get the right one for your gun. Don't, don't get the wrong one because it will not work. But anyways, this has been pleb to pro. How to use the CQB Russian video? Check us out on our CQB Russian fitting. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Vine, Snapchat. Uh, stuff. Just check us out. Anyways, this has been Anthony from Amp Tearsoft. See you guys later, guys.